Hey guys, Abby here. Today we have story time. Um, I am reading a story that a subscriber sent in to me. Um, but before we get into that, I wanted to give a shout out to our dear Abby plus perks member, Mr. J. Hi, Mr. J. This one's for you. He is a member of the Abby Hout channel. Um, we do have memberships live. They've been live for a while. Some of you are um, members. We have three different levels. Um, and as a member, Mr. J, as a member of the Abby Hout channel, is eligible for perks such as customized stickers, priority responses to comments, shout outs, and a free five minute happy birthday custom. Um, he, I believe, has chosen the second level, the middle tier. Um, so if you are interested in becoming a member like Mr. J, um, along with some of our other members who are just, who are um, base perks levels, um, I believe they start at $3.99 and go all the way up to $24.99. Are the three different levels um, but if you are interested in becoming of a member of our channel not only does it help support our channel and keeps uh, the great content coming your way but you do get the opportunity to enjoy um, many different types of perks um, based off of the perks level you choose um, or some of the perks that are available through these different levels are um, early access to new videos, loyalty badges, member shout outs, a happy birthday clip from yours truly, um, photos and status updates that are only available for Perks members, um, access to members only chats and live streams as well. So if you are interested in supporting our channel and taking advantage of some of these great perks, um, click that little become a member, um, join the membership, um, pick your membership level, and select from one of the three membership levels that we have and begin enjoying your perks today. So without further ado, we will get into this email, this story. The email says, Miss Abigail, which I'm just Abby, no Abigail, um, for the record. Once upon a time, I was told of this story that had transpired from an individual who was what I considered a genuine, good-hearted person. N all around, no BS, BSN type of guy. This individual, for many different reasons, for some reason, evidently had fallen into several years of no tango such a long period that he would not tell me exactly how long his drought had been. He explained to me that he had these thoughts of how he had just been wondering a lot lately of how to find a certain type of woman. who was in the mood for a certain type of guy such as himself. From what I was getting from this conversation, basically <clears throat> like family of this individual. Hold on. Tell me how. Okay. Yeah, conversation, okay. Sorry, I kind of jumped to a different basically. Um, from what I was getting from this conversation, basically he was looking for a good time, no strings attached to someone who was looking for a man like him just to have some good times with. I feel like I've given you a little bit of the backstory before the main one he told me now anyhow this individual I know had fallen on a certain time in his life 
which he was staying with a couple of individuals who I don't know if they were family. If not, they were basically like family of this individual. My friend was in his early 30s and he had explained to me not how this other couple was a man and his wife and was in their six his wife was in her 60s but he had told me he had seen her very attractive woman as a very attractive woman i think this friend of mine as well as me was loved older women this other couple were genuine individuals who at one time were into what you'd say an open type of relationship or maybe swingers from what I picked up but this had been quite a few years ago he had said was very close with both these individuals like I said basically family he explained to me how during certain times when the three would be laid back letting loose on the weekends he thought he was picking up these vibes from the woman and almost getting vibes from the husband that they loved tango and had basically through certain one-on-one -on -one discussions between the king of the castle his uncle with his nephew the discussions became more open i guess you could say This uncle of his proceeded to tell the nephew that he believed the nephew to be a quality, good-hearted type of individual. <clears throat> I guess you could say he then began to explain how his aunt was a machine in the bedroom and that even in her slightly older age of 63, evidently she still loved to tango, as you like to say. The words. He told me is that he was told his aunt flat out loved to tango but it had been quite a while since someone else entertained the both of them he liked watching his wife in her glory and the older gal certainly would or could be up for some good times if the nephew played his cards right and decided to step to the plate and take a swing this friend of mine told me he was absolutely stuck on stupid, dumbfounded, excited, giddy, and nervously unsure as the conversation grew with more details. Mind you, this friend of mine knew this older gal his whole life. He told me as a kid he used to have dirty little thoughts, you know, when he was like 12 or 13 years old, watching this woman lay out in her bikini there they were very close but many years had gone by then and now all of a sudden an opportunity is presenting itself to him one in which he certainly is up to the task at least he felt he was but he didn't want to jump into anything This is like epic fail here in these, this video today. Sorry guys. Having an off day. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, opportunity is presenting himself, itself to him. One in which he certainly is up to the task, or at least he felt he was, but he didn't want to just jump into anything before he felt like the three of them were mostly on the same page. He was also informed that while she was very much would or could go with the flow, she was not the type of woman to initiate the pregame tango, or the tango in general. So my friend proceeds to tell me how he wanted pleasure he wanted to pleasure this woman very badly. He was certainly up to just some good old tango with no strings attached. He had a ton of love and respect for these two individuals and he was nervous 
in his own right on just stepping into the batter's box and taking a big swing. But in an opportunity such as this, he was super up for the task. He was super nervous, a little scared, you know. It had been a long time since he had been in bed with a woman. He certainly felt he could be a, be a very good time for another woman. Now it was just making it happen and experiencing that fantasy that most men have of an older woman. Oh, I should say they all three were smokers. I left that out. That can be another detail and a little more depth in relating to this whole situation. I was told of for another time, this individual did step into the batter's box more than once and Miss Abigail, if you want to hear more nitty gritty details of this fantasy come to life, hit me back. There's a little good, a little bad, and a little ugly. I think I'll just stick to mostly most of the good. Let me know. All right. Well, what I want to know is did he? Did he step up to the batter's box? Anyway. You'll have to update me because now I'm curious, as I'm sure the rest of you are as well. Um, thank you for sharing your story. And um, that is all I have for you guys today. So um, until next time, everybody. Love hugs. And smoky kisses. Bye, everyone.